Hi, welcome to another episode of TFR Insights. And today we have with us Barry Russell, Senior Vice President and General Manager of Cloud at Cumulo. Uh, Barry, first of all, welcome to the show. Yeah, hey, thanks a bunch for uh, for having me. It's, uh, it's uh, pretty cool to be joining you today. Before we kind of get started, uh, I want to know a bit more about the company uh, and what kind of you know uh, uh, space you're working in. So let's talk about the company itself. Yeah, you bet. Um, Cumulo is uh, based in Seattle, Washington, and we're a company focused on um, unstructured file data, and in particular, uh, massive quantities of unstructured file data, which uh, enterprises and government entities um, have to store securely, uh, manage, and utilize in all of their legacy as well as the new applications and services uh, that they're building on the uh, on the public cloud. Let's talk about uh, AWS. You know, uh, Outpost. First of all, with Outpost, uh, AWS is changing the game. So, how would you define Outpost to our viewers? Yeah, for me, it's uh, pretty simple actually. Uh, what what they're doing is they're extending the services that they um, offer uh, an AWS in the public cloud, and they're placing those on a set of um, high performance um, hardware that can be installed uh, locally uh, on-prem for the customer um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one um, is to ensure that a customer that has applications that for whatever reason um, cannot migrate to the cloud or may take a while to migrate to the cloud can take full advantage of the breadth of AWS services that they've offered. And second, when you look at a company like us uh, and we handle um, uh, all of this unstructured file data, uh, we store it and we make it available both on-prem and in the public cloud, now uh, we can work with AWS for customers that have data that's resident, um, that for privacy, um, country uh, rules and regulations, let's say cannot move. Um, out of a out of an on-premise um, data center facility, now they can utilize um, Cumulo software um, and AWS services and the hardware stack they're providing with Outpost together the exact same way they were using Cumulo software uh, in the cloud on AWS. Right. So AWS is more or less like if Muhammad cannot go to the mountain, the mountain will come to Muhammad. So they are bringing you know <laughs> AWS cloud. That's a good. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. with Outpost, you know, what are the what are some of the the challenges that customers face? Is you know, especially in terms of unstructured data. Uh, that's where Cumulus kind of come in to help those customers. So, I want to understand the problem that they face that you are trying to solve for Outpost customers. That's right. Well, and I think it extends beyond Outpost. If we look at um, solutions um, and um, and customers that are rapidly, especially with COVID, um, it's even put more pressure, as you know, on, on, on customers um, to digitize their entire operation, their full platform. Um, and, you know, Cumulo, um, our, our sweet spot is really, um, you know, making the, the, the world's unstructured data, uh, file data useful, um, useful to developers, to DevOps workflows, um, useful to um, IT administrators and storage administrators, and um, line of business that have to create new apps and services for customers. And if I look at uh, a few of our customer use cases, you know, I would pick on one, for example, in the, um, in the autonomous vehicle and IoT space. Uh, we're helping uh, high-end Amobis um, ensure that their workflow uh, around uh, the, the build out and continued safety um, of deploying an autonomous car, that that data is captured stored securely, and if Hyundai Mobis chooses, they can take that unstructured file data in Cumulo and attach it um, to an AI service um, to create a more intelligent model that the car uh, could then operate safer with. If I look at Shell, uh, who's a customer of ours uh, running on AWS, they're utilizing Cumulo for their workflow around finding the world's new energy resources. That's their job. And so they're able to use Cumulo as part of their uh, subsurface um, uh, energy research and, and exploration. And even if we go to you know, the shows that, that I'm sure you and I love to watch uh, each night um, and the movies that are coming out, these amazing digital movies um, 
like the Avengers, you know, we work with a customer like Cinesite, not only to help power the pre and post production um, of movies and uh, the growing, you know, massively growing uh, set of, of uh, content, digital content that we can all consume and love to consume at night, but we're also helping them power um, a new 16K uh, service. If you can believe it, you know, we're, we're, we're already moving to 16K. Um, here we were talking about 4K just, uh, you know, just a little bit ago, and now we're already to 16. And it's by using Cumulo um, uh, and, and Cumulo on AWS that Cinesite is able to power um, these new services for you and me. Excellent. And thanks for sharing uh, those use cases and also talking about 16K. It it makes me nervous as a multimedia professional that how are we going to handle that bandwidth through our, uh, even fiber will not be enough to just well, <laughs> send yeah, out the data me nervous that, that Yeah, it makes me nervous that I'm going to have to go out and buy more new TVs. Right? So uh, <laughs> I feel like I just got done refreshing my TVs. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's less than TV. Yeah, of course, because those new specification for HDMI because you know those uh, those uh, HDMI I think 2.1 is coming out because there's you can send so much data so yeah it says uh, it's it's going to be a big challenging word but I, I would rather buy a new TV than be stuck with 720p uh, right 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 yeah uh, back to back to the this uh, availability on AWS. Uh, if I'm not wrong, you know, you guys are the the first uh, uh, data platform that is available uh, to users. I'm uh, I'm assuming that you know v there will be more, but can you just talk about this uh, this announcement itself? Yeah, you bet. Um, you know, I think there's an important distinction to make, and when you think about Cumulo, the computer science uh, problem that our founder and engineers uh, solved was around how do you scale out. Um, to, to massive petabyte and exabyte sizes of, um, of, uh, of digital uh, file, uh, file data lakes. Um, how do you do that using software only and not have to worry uh, about also um, leveraging the hardware for the storage component piece? And it's because that we're a software only a file data platform, we are able um, to natively run on AWS Outposts, the same way we natively run uh, in the cloud on, on AWS. For, so for us, it's a natural fit. Um, we're hardware agnostic. We allow customers total freedom in where uh, they want to move, migrate, and use um, their unstructured file data and the applications um, that need access uh, to, to those file data repositories. Um, so this just gives our customers that were already utilizing AWS but want to run certain workloads on-prem, just gives them the same power that they've had. Customers like Cinesite and Shell um, and Hyundas gives them the same power to run outposts with Cumulo uh, on-premise, but still have access to those AWS cloud-native services as well. Just talk about how do you see the evolution of this, this space itself? Right, I think there's two, there's two key parts to how um, the unstructured file data space is uh, already uh, growing and now accelerating. One is on what customers want to do uh, with unstructured file data um, and IoT uh, unstructured telemetry data, how they want to leverage IoT platforms in the cloud and uh, AI and ML services in the cloud. Uh, I think that's an explosive area. I think we've just scratched the surface. Um, and I think uh, that's one area where Cumulo will serve its, its customers uh, uh, super well. The other area I think we're already seeing is that um, it's not just creative studios um, and, and, uh, and, and movie houses that are producing digital content of super high quality. Uh, we're now seeing the average enterprise customer need to do the same, whether it's for training employees remotely, um, or uh, hosting um, customer events. Almost all enterprises now are having to figure out how to become high quality producers um, of rich digital content. Uh, and so the same way that media and entertainment has utilized Cumulo for its unstructured file data, we absolutely see the, the um, other industries and just the generic enterprise in general um, doing the same uh, to produce and launch um, high quality content um, that they may not have had to do before. Right, and I also 
personally, uh, somebody who is coming from this uh, publishing world, I also feel that video is going to become the primary uh, format of storytelling because people's attention span is so short these days that nobody's going to read a 2000 word story on their smartphones. Right. But with videos, you can tell everything in like one minute. So so I, I fully agree with you that this, this is how where the market is going. Uh, Barry, thank you so much for taking your time out today and to talk about not only Cumulus, but also this ecosystem. And uh, I can clearly see that, you know, you guys are doing a lot of exciting work there. So I would love to talk to you again. So once again, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, thank all your uh, viewership as well.